after the funeral at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, the police and escorted procession began. Hundreds followed as Water's body was driven to Crown Hill Cemetery. But before the cemetery, one more important location. 24 Hour News 8's Elizabeth Choi joins us live now from IMPD's East District. Elizabeth, what is the significance of the East District? Dave, behind me is where Deputy Chief Waters spent several years. From 2011 through 2014, he was the commander at the IMPD East District, making a profound impact on his officers as a mentor. But that impact didn't end just there. He also had an undeniable, made an undeniable impression on the community he served right here on the east side. I wanted to get out here before the procession came through so I could show my respects to the chief. Gabe Frost was one of the first to arrive. He waited more than an hour to pay his final respects. Yeah, I was pretty upset because uh, Chief Walter is such a great guy. I, I know everybody that's ever come into contact with him knows that. And everybody also knew Waters was committed to this East Side community. He was real active in the community. He went to all the coffee shops. He helped all the kids. And that community involvement clear by the overwhelming support. Officers from the East District lined the street, red and blue lights flashing, a few on horses. Then came the rush of police motorcycles, one right after another. Hundreds of vehicles passed through, a variety of law enforcement and regular people. The street saw no shortage of mourners as dozens stood by to watch the cars pass through. No, I was not going to miss this for nothing. It was uh, great to see the outpouring of support for him today. Nancy Short runs the local YMCA. A group there came out displaying a fitting poster. Well done, good and faithful servant. Speaking to both his profession and faith. Jim was a good and faithful servant. He uh, served his Lord and he served his community. Wow. And now, as officers stood by saluting Waters one final time, a hearse carrying his body passed through the crowd, his family right behind him. Deputy Chief Waters can hang up that service hat and rest, an ending that has broken the heart of this community. The reason why I come out for Jim Waters, because he was special to the East Side. Now after here, after passing by the East District here, the procession ended at Crown Hill Cemetery.